Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I know I'm doing a late video tonight, but this is actually for a movie I got done watching in the theaters, surprisingly, which I was surprised. I went out with my mom or whatever to go to the movies, so she surprised me with this at the last minute, and I was like, wait, what? We're gonna go see Doctor Strange? And yes, this is for the Doctor Strange in the multiverse of, of madness, I believe is what it's called. So, this is the second film to the Doctor Strange uh, original film, but this actually, it's in a different timeline or whatever. Yeah, in the multiverse of madness, I'm reviewing. So, I'm going to discuss what I watched for this uh, second Doctor Strange movie. And let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this movie review. Now I'm going to explain what it's about. But I'm not going to spoil anything in this movie review or anything. I'll have a special video for that. Probably tomorrow sometime. When I wake up or maybe after I go to my doctor's appointment. But what did I think of this movie overall? Pretty good. I think you guys are going to love this movie. Um, I enjoyed this movie. I'm a big Marvel fan, to be honest. I really had a good time watching this movie. Um, basically, the concept behind the movie, or the premise behind the movie, is someone is messing with the timeline, the multiverse or whatever, and this America Chavez comes in uh, from a different multiverse or whatever, like a different universe, alternate universe or whatever. And that's where uh, Wanda comes in because Benedict Cumberbatch, also known as Doctor Strange, goes to Wanda. And sh Wanda already knows about America Chavez. I don't want to spoil what happens, but she basically says, if you don't uh, surrender her over to me, then there will be casualties, and uh, you will feel my wrath, or whatever, <laughs> or something like that. I don't fucking know, but yeah, Wanda's not the Wanda we knew, that we knew from the Avengers and all that shit. So basically, it takes place after WandaVision a bit, uh, with Wanda being the Scarlet Witch now, and the Scarlet Witch, well, we saw her reign of terror for a while in this movie. I don't want to spoil what happens, but basically, this was a fun movie to watch. I had a good time watching this movie. And I don't understand why IDMB is giving it a solid rating. I'm like, seriously? I'm like, stop being a critic too much. This was one of the best Marvel movies I've seen in a bit. It's as good as... I wouldn't say it's as good as Spider-Man No Way Home. But it's still a really good movie for what it is. I think it's an epic movie. Maybe even as good as Spider-Man No Way Home. I, I'm not 100% sure, but... There were some, I wouldn't say, there was only one flaw to this movie, and that was one of the post credit scenes. Uh, after you finish the end of the credits, you get this stupid post credit scene where you're like, uh, that shouldn't have been the end of the movie, but still, uh, at the very end of the thing or whatever, but basically, uh, it's... You always have to stay for the post credit scenes, because that's what will keep you interested on what's going to happen next with Doctor Strange. But, yeah, um, basically, the enemy is uh, the Scarlet Witch from the WandaVision show, also known as Wanda. Elizabeth Olsen is in, plays the bad guy in this movie, and she... The only way Doctor Strange can figure out how to defeat her, which I will explain more in the spoiler review tomorrow on what I think of it, but I had a good time watching this movie. 
I was surprised with the outcome of this movie. The premise is just trying to protect the America Chavez uh, girl or whatever. Uh, Doctor Strange has to protect her. And you find out more things as you go through the movie. So it's a pretty interesting movie. It got a great concept. And also it's a fun time to watch in my personal opinion. So overall I think uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was a really good movie. I don't know if it's the best movie this year, but it's a really good movie. It's uh, I had a fun time watching this movie. So first score for me, I think I'm going to give uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness a 9.5 out of 10. This was an epic movie in my personal opinion. I know some critics are it wishy-washy, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, maybe there's a little bit of nitpicks that I have a problem with with this movie, but it's almost a perfect movie in my personal opinion. Uh, but who knows, maybe my ch uh, rating could change. Uh, I had a fun time watching this movie. It was a blast watching this movie, seeing it in the theater. And that's... I just had a good time watching it. And I was really surprised my mom took me to go see it. She's like, okay, let's go watch this movie. I'm like, wait, what? Because <laughs> she was surprising me with that. So I was like... Yes. <laughs> but anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie, if you've seen it. Uh, I had to watch it a few days after it came out, uh, which I had a fun time watching it. Uh, and I'll, I actually saved a little bit of money going to see it. Well, not me, per se, because uh, I don't have a job. But yeah, I... Had uh, someone pay for it, of course. My mom was paying for it. So, yeah. It was a good time watching this movie. That's all I can say. Uh, but if you did enjoy this movie review, I'll have a spoiler review coming out tomorrow on this movie. i am got to go somewhere in the morning, but then I'll have the spoiler review coming out sometime tomorrow. But anyways... Uh, if you did enjoy this movie review for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I'll have another movie review for the Northmen sometime later this week, or probably by the weekend. I don't know. I gotta see what I'm doing. But basically, I had a fun time watching this movie. It's almost a perfect movie. It's not the best movie, but it's as good as Spider-Man No Way Home. There's a lot of good things about it. I think with what it was going for, if you understand, the beginning makes you feel a little confused, but towards the rest of the movie, it plays out phenomenally, in my personal opinion. And I will get to some nitpicks I have with the movie, but not tonight you'll see a spoiler review tomorrow sometime in the afternoon i think so i hope you enjoyed this movie review for doctor strange in the multiverse of madness i didn't want to spoil anything until i did my spoiler review and i will put a disclaimer if you haven't seen it then don't watch the video but that will be my disclaimer for tomorrow's video on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But stay safe, guys. Take care. I'll have the Olivia O'Brien EP review tomorrow. And I'll try to get to the Northmen as soon as I can. I just... I had to watch a really good movie. And that was a really good movie. So have a great night, guys. Going into Wednesday night. Or Wednesday and all that. And as always, I will see you in my next review.